What is science? Science is the systematic explanation of phenomena. It's putting out a hypothesis, testing a hypothesis, and the whole thing rests on an assumption that the universe operates according to fixed discoverable laws. Okay, so Newton believed the apple fell out of the tree because there's a law. I'm going to discover the law. Let's go look for the law. Okay, science looks for rules. Now, I can't, the rules of the genetic code, I can't derive them from the laws of physics. They have every appearance of being just like the rules that make the internet work. Well, if I want to study the internet, if I want to study the ones and zeros going across the internet, I can't do it without assuming design. Right. If, if, somebody, if somebody works on your car, they assume it was designed. If your mechanic calls you up on the phone and he says, Mr. Jenkins, I found this hose. I don't think it does anything. Would you like me to take it out? <laughs> What would you say to him? <laughs> why? Why is it there? <laughs> yeah, someone why, must have assumed it had a right. purpose, right? You say, "Why is it there?" Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that 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 opens up uh, that opens up uh, the topic. You say, "Why?" You ask this question. You can ask why questions about biology in ways that you cannot ask about astronomy. Mm, say more about that. Okay. Okay. So, so if if you say if I say why are there ocean tides, you go well because of the moon and and all that. Yeah. Right. And you go oh okay. So why is there a moon? Well because you know, some planet crashed into the Earth four billion years ago and, it, right. and, and all that. Well, why is there a solar system? Because the sun spun off this matter. Mm -hmm. But all of the why, it's, it's just pure cause and effect. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a mechanical sequence of events. It's not like, it's not like you need to, uh, to resort to any explanation of intention for those things. They just happened because it was the only thing that could happen given the initial conditions. Right? Okay. okay? If, you know, if the sun was warming or cooling or whatever, you know, it was doing and it spin off all this matter, then it just happened and it obeyed the laws of physics and that's it. But codes, laws of codes are not derivable from the laws of physics. They're arbitrary. Okay? And so, so you say, when you say, you say, why, why are blood cells concave? They're convex on one side and concave on the other. The answer will be because when they squeeze through a little capillary, they need to, you know, bend so they could go through. And they're like, there's a million questions you can ask about your body or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. and it's an entirely different type of answer than when somebody says, why is there ocean tides? Because something performs a function mm -hmm. that serves a purpose, mm -hmm. okay? So, oh, okay, so I asked why was that hose in my under the hood of my car? Yes. It must have a purpose, right? because there, I know there's a design. You can't. Right. You assume it's there for a reason that mm -hmm. it performs some function. Okay. So when I ask why is the moon there, the that's not the assumption I'm, and if it is not the yeah. assumption I'm making, that, right. the yeah. answer would be that well because of that planet that hit the Earth four billion years ago. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's a, it's a completely oh, gotcha. different category of an answer. 